All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. It's time to get this car coated on the bottom with rust encapsulator. Let me show you what I'm using. Probably most important will be my 3M respirator here. It is an N95. Some people would go ahead and wear the full respirator. You can. Um, that one's going to be fine for me, and I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, glasses and face shield. This is a new face shield. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty crucial to keep that stuff from falling in my mouth and face and nose, whatever. I've got these two kind of squirrel cage fans that's going to be blowing all the stuff out from under back that direction. So what I might end up doing is actually start in the rear and work my way forward. So that's what I'm trying to say. Everything will be blown further towards the rear as I work. I did get the old gas line out without destroying it, unclipped it, and I'm going to make a new one of those just like you've seen on bad tree productions and rabid transit uh, other stuff i removed there were a couple exhaust hangers and i got the little clips i went ahead and pulled the brake line down you can see it hanging i just hung it on the bar over there so i could get in that corner edge uh, right now i've got my bumper jack in the back i've got my two jack stands there in the center which i'll scoop forward a little bit and i've got my two big jack stands in the front uh, the car is very secure. I figured that out. It's good to go. And everything that's red underneath will be black with rust encapsulator, including stuff like this. That's the spot right there. All that's got to get cleaned out and encapsulated as well. So I've got my gas tank out, if you didn't see that. Rear end's out. Trans cross members hanging. I will get it. go ahead and get it down. Uh, it's going to be a little process. I'm going to skip through a lot of stuff, but you'll be able to see the main stuff. It's kind of hard to film laying on your back. Uh, but yeah, I'll be on that creeper. Show you my tools. Good old Harbor Freight grinder with a wire wheel is going to do all my flats. Uh, up in the corners and edges, I've got this crazy brush. Uh, my smaller brush here. It's good for finite stuff and then just a wire wheel. Um, I do have a painter suit here i'm gonna wear on my top half uh on the bottom i just have on long pants so that'll cover protection and gear uh, i will i've got my uh, air hose and blow gun set up so i can blow the stuff out after all these steps here I'm, i am going to go underneath the car uh just with a water hose and red scotch bright and touch everything back up uh go ahead and degrease it and scrub it I'll do my inner fender, see how they got some red. Uh, kind of the red overspray here. That frame rail is probably factory red, but since it's got overspray, it'll probably end up black as well. It'll look nicer than having that. This car has been painted two or three times, so make it all look nice. I may go ahead and pop my rubbers off as well, just to get a nicer job. Uh, so yeah, I'm planning about two to three days on this have it knocked out so this is day one let's go So the idea is knock off anything heavy. You can still see the lower spray there. I'm gonna run over it some more. But anything heavy that is rusty or loose, knock it all off. If this undercoating's loose, it's gonna come off. See it falling? If it's not loose, I will leave it. This is not a bake off kind of deal here. This is, I'm trying to coat the metal. So there's not much undercoating left under the car. You can see that looseness there. I just wanted to give you a quick angle of how quick this stuff moves. I'm gonna get some done and bring you back.
this is my most favorite brush. I know it looks a little crazy, kind of like Sideshow Bob's hair, but anywhere up through here, I'll just show you real quick. Here is my other most favorite brush I showed you before. Pretty stiff, but I can walk it all the way up through here, knocking off a bunch of that nastiness up through there. That stuff that looks kind of like it should come down, but it's just not quite falling out. This will do it right here. I switched that brush to the old drill. It'll go up in places like that after I'm done with that, uh, after the thicker brush to be able to knock down any dust up. Up in here, especially that. Won't take it with just a second to do work. This is what the end of day one looks like. I made it back from my frame rails. You can see the floor here. Up both sides of this. All the way through. Still got a little stuff in here I'd like to scrape. I'll probably just get my straight edge razor, scrape it, scrape into there and get that stuff out. Um, floor pan itself, I made it up to about that point. So, see the trans cross member going through both sides. See that one? She's got a little stuff in that corner. Uh, but the rest of this cleaned up really nicely. I'll show you our product in just a second. See, still, that's dirty like that. Uh, I left the tunnel here See that amount of grease and funk. I was gonna use a different wire brush on it and then come back with my cleaner one to knock it out. But after everything is done wire wheeling, I am gonna go ahead and degrease it and scrub it all with a scuff pad just to be sure I'll have good adhesion. Prep, prep is the most important thing for this. Um, you can kind of see up in here, I gotta knock all that funk off. Uh, this is what I cleaned up before and just shot with um, some rust stop spray paint or something. But I may go ahead and scuff over it again and just shoot everything from the trans tunnel uh, back with encapsulator. Better. See how it starts to get dirty in there. So I need to switch to my other brush. But yeah, this is kind of my only repair spot here. And I was going to use my POR patch to do it with. Uh, I'll show that very briefly. Like I said, this video is more about the encapsulator and how to use it. And this is a gallon of Eastwood's Rust Encapsulator Matte Black. Applied directly over surface rust. Top coat with almost any paint or uses a top coat. Prevents rust from spreading, penetrates deep, cures fast. I believe it all. I, there's, I thought about painting an entire car with this once just to see what it would look like because it gives you a really nice finish on the outside. Um, it kind of explains if you're applying a top coat, what to do. It's good stuff. It'll give you that, that sort of finish. Uh, hopefully you saw my other video that showed the uh, little toolbox. I got a couple videos with that and I'm going back to work. for a quick cleanup. 
you can see what's left of that brush. That was the second one that I did like that. Most of that is the brushes that came out of everything there. But my bottom side's pretty clean after I've blown out all the holes. I hit every little crack and crevice like that. I'm gonna get this swept up and then I'm gonna get my water hose out, change clothes, lay on my back and get nasty. But it'll be clean once it's done. Let's keep moving. So here's what's about to happen. I got a scrub brush, it's kind of wore out. Got a new-ish green Scotch-Brite that's pretty rough. I'm going to scuff and degrease. This is LA's Totally Awesome, as seen on TV. Soak it all, let it set 15, 20 seconds, start scrubbing. Uh, I will put my glasses back on for that, but I wanted to, to use the scrub brush on the inner fenders and stuff that basically this scuff pad won't be able to get into any old undercoating or anything because I will go ahead and shoot them while I'm under there but before I do any of that I'm gonna take my water hose stick in these back frame rails and just wash them out wash all that funk anything that I could not blow out it's gonna get washed out now and it was, it's gonna be a couple days before I actually uh, spray my rust encapsulator I'll let it dry out really well and I'll come back to it but yeah, and if it flash rusts, doesn't super matter because rust encapsulator you put directly over rust. So it is what it is. I don't typically like to wait very long. I like to normally just get it dry as fast as I can, but I don't think it should rust very much since most of it is uh, a panel that can drip dry if I can't blow it dry today. But yeah, I wanted to show you a little bit of some, of, some more of that stuff that comes out of the frame rails before I go back to scrubbing and working. Take my totally awesome and spray away. Get that whole frame rail up in there. And the old fender rail. Really good stuff. Would recommend. But yeah, I need to. See the brown in that bubble there? That's just taking dirt off. It's really good stuff. But I got my scotch right. And I'll go through and scuff every single thing that I'm going to shoot. Minus this, because if you notice it does not, doesn't scuff very well. So after I have it soaked for a while, I use my brush, brush it. See that good stuff dripping right there, nice and brown. And I have not even scrubbed it yet. So it's working. I'll keep going. Mm -hmm. And here she is. When you think it's clean enough, we'll wash it one more time. Then it'll be clean enough. Drying out nicely. Might have a little flash rust. Not, not bad. See my thumb? So I'm gonna let this dry for about two days. Like I said, then I'll come back, wipe it with my grease and wax remover everywhere. And spray away. Everything is a little bit of black left underneath the car. It's not undercoating. It looks like some kind of factory paint. So it'll be fine to coat over. It doesn't all have to come off. Um, but I am using my HVLP gun. Let me show it to you. And what I'm gonna be doing is spraying just like this i'll spray under the car i can adjust the gun to where it will shoot a fine stream i can stream it up in these holes i can really coat these gaps here gaps all the way around shoot it up so it will get under brackets stuff like that in these holes um, but i'm gonna blow through first with my air gun just to get out any water that may be left see there's a little it's not really wet, just a little dirt. Um, but I want to get everything wiped. Prep is key with this stuff, if y'all didn't realize that already. 
and I will try to get my camera set up where you can actually see me spraying. I don't want to waste too much time with that, but showing the application, the process, that's what's important. Getting the bottom of the car um, protected for another 50 something years will be good. Some quick good advice I can give you. Usually get yourself a paint mixer if you can't get that stuff shaking somewhere. Uh, get all the funky chunks out of it and stuff. I did run it through a filter before pouring it into my cup and pouring it into my gun. And since I'm spraying under the car, I only fill this cup up about three quarters of the way. I'll be having it tilted a lot and I'm, I'm not gonna go fully upside down with it, but about a 45 degree angle is probably fine. Let's go spray some. Also got on my gloves and respirator. I'm gonna start in the back of the car. My fans are blowing from the front. So I'm gonna try to, I'll spray the back, get inside underneath and then spray so the fans blow over me and then carry the spray away instead of spraying it hitting me in the face so just this back spot's gonna be it'll be a little messy for just a second but i'll get out of the way So we think we're almost finished. You get a product that looks like this. Pretty nice. You can see a little bit of the different sheens here between that and that. That was when I had the gun adjusted down to shoot a stream instead of a fan. It is covered. I got little spots like that where my the top of my gun touched or hit, nicked. There's spots up in here see where I just couldn't shoot so best I can recommend for you is get a paintbrush and stick it in your cup and smear all those spots um, you could brush this stuff on I, I can show you here's an example like up in here if you brush it you not you really dab it up into these corners and stuff it looks still looks pretty good um, and it kind of flows out uh, not bad, but you might get a few brush marks. See the little run there? We're gonna smooth it out. But yeah, you if you don't want to if you don't want to shoot the stuff on with a gun, just get your brush and brush it like down into there. Really know I got it in there good. A little bit will brush a long way too, kind of like the POR 15 stuff. Yeah, I'll brush up in here. Just be sure I got it all. But yep, I'm gonna brush around and call this thing done. I'll show you finished product in just a second. There she is all done up. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely pleased with that. Nice black bottom on the car. 
And to give you a little contrast, the black on the red of this car, you can see some of those water spots there. But looks pretty sharp when you get down and look under it now, instead of it being red overspray and white overspray and primer overspray and whatever else. But just a quick, simple deal. The inner fenders look really nice, I think. I just shot it over that factory undercoating because it was not loose at all. The stuff that was loose came off. And you see, I got some rust holes here. I am going to fill those with my POR patch after this dries really well. Same thing that one in the front. Uh, so y'all have to come back for that. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.